Well, this month's top tip comes from Will Funnel. Will, we've just seen a number of horses having refusals. You get a horse that whacks on the anchors, for want of a better expression. What do you do about it? I mean, it's really assessing why it's happened. Has it slipped? Is there a, you know, is there a physical problem with it? But I mean, really, that's why really good, you know, for a really good horse, he's got to be, he's got to be really careful and he's got to be really brave. And sometimes if they're not so brave, then they can make the decision to stop and that can be a, an always occurring thing. If sometimes the foot conditions don't suit that particular horse, but really um, if he's honest and, and he enjoys show jumping, which that's, that's what it comes down to, they're brave and enjoy the sport, then most of them want to take off. And you can have two refusals, obviously, so you can have another go when you've had a refusal. How do you go about getting the confidence in the horse to jump it the second time? So he's trying to assess why it happened. Why, you know, ha have I not shown it a ditch before? Can I take it, give it, get, take it away, give it confidence again? You know, some horses that are really careful and perhaps not so brave need to jump a lot of smaller classes before we introduce them to the big stuff again to get their confidence level up again. And not that it happens too often. What happens when you get it wrong? Yeah, it's the same. A lot of the, a lot of the, 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 I'm talking about the horse stopping, but <laughs> a lot of that comes down to rider errors. Ninety percent of the time. It's because of us making a mistake, turning too tight, asking too much of a horse sometimes. So then, yeah, we need to assess ourselves then and we need to go back to the drawing board and improve.